In the previous video, we developed the partition function for a system of n independent molecules. So in this video, we're going to go ahead and compute what is the average energy of that system of atoms or molecules. So we've already done an example showing how to compute the average energy using the probabilities of various states using their Boltzmann factor. But now we're going to use the alternative approach where if you just have the partition function, how do you get the average energy? So the energy is going to be the negative partial derivative with respect to beta of the natural log of the partition function. So beta is equal to 1 over the Boltzmann constant times the temperature, T. So starting off with translations, our translational partition function is equal to V to the N over N factorial 2 pi M K T over H squared to the 3 N over 2. V is the volume accessible to the particle, N is the number of particles, M is the mass of an individual particle, uh, Boltzmann constant KB, temperature T, Planck's constant H, and then 2 pi, self-explanatory. All right, so the natural log of the translational partition function is equal to, so log of A to the X is X log A, so we have 3N over 2 pulled out here of, then the natural log of A times B is natural log of A plus natural log of B. So we have natural log of T plus natural log of 2 pi MK over H squared plus N log V minus log N factorial. So log 1 over X is minus log X. So we have minus log N factorial there. All right, so this is all we're really concerned about here are terms that depend on temperature because beta is 1 over KT. So we separated this into terms that depend on KT and terms that do not. So we have log of Q trans equals 3N over 2 log KT plus some other stuff. But KT is 1 over beta. So we can get the natural log of beta by taking the minus log of this. So we have minus 3N over 2 is the natu times natural log of beta plus some stuff that doesn't depend on beta. So the negative partial derivative with respect to beta of the natural log of Q trans is equal to minus times minus 3n over 2 and then the natural log of dd beta of log beta is 1 over beta so we get minuses cancel out we get 3n over 2 beta beta is 1 over kt so 1 over beta is kt so we have the translational energy is 3 halves n kt so you might also notice that from the ideal gas law that NK is equal to number of, is also equal to number of moles times the gas constant. So the translational energy of a set of ideal particles is three halves nRT. All right, so that's kind of neat. It's three halves times something that's one ha one side of the ideal gas law. That's pretty cool. So that's, uh, that's a contribution of one half NKT from each mode of motion. So X, Y, and Z each give one half NKT for a total translational energy of three halves NKT. All right, our rotational partition function for a general polyatomic molecule is equal to uh, pi T cubed over theta A, theta B, theta C to the N over two, where these thetas are the rotational temperatures which you can look, look up in tables for various molecules. The natural log <clears throat> of the rotational partition function is going to be 3n over 2 log of t plus some stuff that doesn't depend on t. So what we're going to get here when we take all those derivatives of this is that the rotational partition function for a nonlinear polyatomic, sorry, the rotational energy for a nonlinear polyatomic molecule is once again going to be 3 halves nkt. If it's linear, uh, it's going to be nkt because the partition function is uh, t over theta a. Alright, I, I don't have sigma in there, but uh, sigma doesn't actually affect the result because it doesn't depend on t once you take the natural log, but uh, yes, I should have sigma in there for the rotational part. All right, uh, the next part that I'm going to do is the electronic part because the vibrational heart is, part is hard and the electronic part is not. The electronic partition function is G1 to the N times E to the N DE over KT. 
G1 is the degeneracy of the ground electronic state. DE is the dissociation energy of that state. So the natural log is going to be NDE over KT plus N log G1. When I so that in terms of beta is going to be beta NDE plus N log G1. When I take the derivative with respect to beta of this, I get minus NDE. So each particle is at minus DE in energy, so there are N of them, so the average electronic energy is minus NDE. All right, now for the annoying one, which is the vibrational partition function. So this is a product over all of the vibrational modes, 3N minus 6 of them for a general nonlinear polyatomic, 3N minus 5 for a linear molecule. Of For each mode, you have E to the minus theta vib I over 2T, over 1 minus e to the minus theta vib i over t. Theta vib i is the rotational temperature of each individual mode. Again, you can typically look those up in tables for simple polyatomic molecules. All of that to the number of particles for the power. Natural log of that is going to be n times a sum from i equals 1 to 3 n minus 6 of, well, the natural log of e to the minus theta vib i over 2t is so e to the natural log of e to the x is x, so we have minus theta vib i over 2t, plus natural log of 1 minus e to the mi minus theta vib i over t. All right, so the average vibrational energy then is going to be, once we take uh, the derivative with respect to uh, beta of that, I'll leave that as an exercise to you because I can't fit it all on this slide, is the vibrational energy is nk, times a sum over all the vibrational modes of the vibrational temperature times one half plus one over e to the theta v vt minus one. Okay, so what we get there is there's an there's an energy of one half nk theta vib i for each of the normal modes, and then there's a term which is unless the temperature is much, unless the temperature is greater than uh, theta vib, doesn't really contribute much, which theta vib is, is higher than 300 Kelvin for almost every vibrational mode there is. So for most, for most vibrational modes, this term doesn't contribute much, but what does contribute is this one half nk theta. So what we then get, and then there's three n minus five modes if you're linear. So what we then get is our expression for the average energy of a general nonlinear polyatomic molecule is uh, our polyatomic system of molecules is minus n times the dissociation energy of the molecule plus 3 nkt. So 3 halves nkt from translations, 3 halves nkt from rotations. It's only nkt if it's linear for there. So this would be 5 halves nkt for linear molecules plus nk sum over all the vibrational modes, one half theta vib i plus theta vib i times one over e to the theta vib i over t minus one. So this is how we go from our translational, our, our partition function of our general system of n non-interacting particles of a nonlinear polyatomic molecule to what the average energy of that is using this expression for our average energy.